Welcome back to the series Dota Origins, where we take a look at where all of Dota's items and abilities came from, or at least most of them. Now we're on to the undead. Visibly, the undead shade has only one ability, True Sight, but it actually has a second hidden ability, Permanent Invisibility. While the shade is not casting spells or attacking, it's invisible to all enemy units. This is the basis of Cloak and Dagger for Rikimaru and Mirana's Moonlight Shadow Ultimate. Ignoring the Shade Visage's familiars borrow their model and their ability to land on the ground from the gargoyle and its ability stone form. While it lands on the ground, it regenerates health very quickly and can rise up in a moment. There are very few blinding spells in Warcraft 3, ones that cause the enemies to miss. The most popular that was used in Dota is Curse, which causes enemies to miss 33% of the time. Although the spell itself doesn't exist in Dota 2, its debuff was used as part of Blinding Light, Old Night Stalker's Fear, and Incapacitating Bite from Broodmother. Yes. There are two versions of Anti-Magic Shell that were introduced in Warcraft 3. The old version causes you to be immune from magic and it purges. I must obey. This was part of the old Omni-Knight Repel. The newer, more balanced Anti-Magic Shell used in your patches of Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne, instead of making you magic immune, simply blocks some incoming magic damage. This was used as the core component of Pipe and Flame Guard given to Ember Spirit. The Necromancer's Raised Dead can turn a corpse into two skeletons and is given to one of the neutral troll high priests. The destroyer's attacks can be buffed with Orb of Annihilation, giving them bonus damage and an area of effect splash damage. This is the Arcane Orb that's given to Outworld Devour. Here's the attacks without, and one that turned off. Death Knight's Death Coil can heal allies or damage enemies, and is the basis for Abaddon's Mist Coil. Let battle be joined. The Unholy Aura grants bonus movement speed and hit point regeneration. The movement speed portion of this aura never made it into Dota 2, but the hit point regeneration it can be found within the purple large satyrs in the neutral camps. Warcraft 3's Lich and Dota 2's Lich share quite a few similarities. Ross Nova still deals damage in area of effect and slows enemy units, movement and attack speed. Surely, it is destined. Frost Armor can still grant allies bonus armor and slows the attack speed of anyone that attacks them. Dead man walking. In Warcraft 3, Dark Ritual allows the Lich to still take your mana by taking your soul. So be it. Finally, Death and Decay is a channeled AoE ability. This channeling portion has been removed. The AoE is now Midnight Pulse for Enigma. Death in the K deals damage in an area of effect based on uh, uh, enemies' uh, health as a percentage and can destroy trees. By your word. The Dreadlord's Carrion Swarm has found a home with Death Prophet, deals damage in Kona Round. Very well. Sleep can put an enemy target to sleep, temporarily granting it invincibility, but it can be woken up in a moment. This is given to Bane for Nightmare. That was my plan. Die. Free. Death rages. Oh. 
vampiric aura has been given to Wraith King as his vampiric aura. That seemed to... The Dreadlord's vampiric aura has found a home in Wraith King. Die. Who thought of that? Inferno is an AoE spell which stuns and damages units upon landing. It produces a golem which has uh, immolation. Very well. Agreed. This golem burns enemies around it and is the basis of Warlock's golem. The Crypt Lord sparked carapace which deals a percent of the damage taken back to its attacker is the basis of blade mail. Impale stuns targets in a line and is given to both Lion and Nyx Assassin. Locust Swarm summons bugs that float around, dealing damage to enemies and healing the Crypt Lord. This is the basis for exorcism given to Death Prophet 